The Seahawks are coming off their, sadly, first loss of the season, although it took them a long time to get there, but they did lose to the Arizona Cardinals 34-37 to in a heartbreak overtime. The upcoming schedule uh, doesn't really get any easier for the Hawks. Three out of the next four are against divisional opponents. As always, Terry Holloman joins us for Hawk Zone. Terry, <laughs> uh, you look great with hair, Terry. It's like the old days. Yeah, it does look like me in the early early 80s and 90s. Well, first, let's talk about the most memorable moment, I'd say, from last week's game. DK Metcalf's superhuman speed chasing down Baker. Oh, my gosh. Uh, I mean, were you as shocked to see that as everybody else? Absolutely amazed. But, you know, when you look at what kind of player DK Metcalf, the kind of incredible athlete is you, it's not surprising. No, he's the kind of guy that you see and you're just like, oh, my gosh, fast people. Yeah, I think he's fast. So it was an amazing yeah. feat. I call it the play of the year so far. I always thought he was a great athlete. I just I think like everyone else, uh, I was just it was jaw dropping to see yeah. uh, what we were certain was a runaway uh, touchdown run and, and then just get taken down like that. Amazing. Like yeah, absolutely. Buda Baker is not a slow person by any stretch of the imagination. No. Just remember, he's a professional athlete and he's yeah. the best at his position and he's very fast. Yeah. And DK Metcalf was much faster. Okay, like a cheetah. It was crazy. <laughs> well, who's going to play who's going to play running back at this point? Because we've got Carson, Chris Carson, uh, Carlos Hyde, Travis Homer, all questionable, right? So yes. that leaves DJ Dallas as only healthy running back at this point. Yeah, I think they were going to call you up, Jim, and see if you're available <laughs> this weekend because they really don't have anyone else. Maybe I could paint them a little running back. Oh, nice. A little happy little running back. <laughs> no, they need some help in that position right now. Uh, although Chris Carson is a very tough, very sturdy, very doable runner, uh, he's out with a foot injury. But, mm. uh, you know, I think it's going to be a game decision for him, a game day decision, because he's tough. And he's been able to fight through injuries yeah. like this uh, through his whole career. Yeah, always seems to come back some one, way or, one way or another. Will we see Jamal Adams this week listed as questionable with a, ouch, groin injury? Yes, um, you know, that's another one. We were hoping to see him last week, mm -hmm. according to Coach Carroll and the training staff. He wasn't available. We'll see this week. I think he's another game day decision. Uh, if he doesn't suit up this weekend, I would be concerned that the groin injury is a little more serious than they led on to before. But, you know, a groin injury is something you don't want to have come back and pop up on you later on in the season or during a game. So maybe they're playing it safe. We're going to find out on game day for sure. Okay. You look like, okay, yeah, Bob Ross, but also like some Saturday Night Live character that I can't quite place. I don't know what it is. Basketball, basketball Jones. Oh, there you go. There you go. Okay. <laughs> <laughs> Maybe that was it. So will the Seahawks, the new defensive end, uh, Carlos Dunlap, play this week, or uh, is he going to be quarantined for a week? Because don't they have yeah, to do that? Yeah, unfortunately, he is going to be quarantined. Okay. He's got to be in the, in the COVID protocol, you know, because he's going to a new team. He's traveling. They're going to have to, you know, do the little testing and set him out, uh, which is going to be unfortunate. We would love to get him in the mix. This guy is going to be an incredible addition for the Seahawks, an incredible athlete. Real tall, long, rangy guy that can move fast off the edge. Something that the Seahawks have needed all season long. They've only had nine sacks this year, mm. which is kind of pitiful. And yeah. we didn't get any against Kyler Murray last week. So this guy is going to be a great addition to that defensive front for the Seahawks when we get him in the, in the game, which is going to probably be next week uh, when they face the Bills. Yeah, well, we, not soon enough. I mean, um, Legion of Boom became Legion of Make Room. <laughs> <laughs> I'm gonna let you say that. I'm not gonna say it to their faces. But they'll Jim get it back. Never said that. <laughs> <laughs> they'll they'll get it back. Hey, I'm in I'm in disguise right now. Nobody's gonna know that I said Willie Nelson is a real hater. Oh my gosh. Uh, <laughs> San Francisco's defense in the top ten, right, in most categories, and so they're on the opposite end of this whole spectrum of of defense. And the Seahawks' offense has actually fallen a few spots, and we've got those injuries we talked about. Uh, can they get back to that e early season form against such a tough defense? Can they well, do it? Well, you know, the Seahawks' offense is really the strong point. And they've been strong from day one this season. And when they got Russell Wilson at the helm, I think anything is possible. They have some incredible weapons now for him to cook with. And that's been the theme all season, right? Let yeah. Russ cook. Yeah. He's been able to do his thing. 
So it's going to be a great test of strength versus strength that Seahawks offense with the incredible weapons of DK and Metcalf, mm -hmm. Tyler Lockett, mm -hmm. who's coming off an incredible game, 15 catches, yeah, 200 maybe. yards receiving, three touchdowns. So again, it's going to be an incredible contest of strength versus strength that Seahawks offense versus a really good San Francisco defense. I'm looking forward to that. Okay, thanks so much, Terry. Paint some pretty little mountains and beautiful, happy little trees. <laughs> And we'll happy talk to you little, next time. Happy, some happy little new day viewers. <laughs> there we go. The Seahawks take on the 49ers at CenturyLink Field Sunday afternoon, November 1st at 1.25. Such a strange time to begin a game. 1.25.